Welcome to Provo Canyon in Utah, south of Salt Lake City. These rocks are highly deformed and deformation of rock layers happens by significant compression beneath the Earth's surface where the rocks get hotter and more pliable. The ones that kind of look like an upside down arch, those are called synclines because they have almost a smiley face appearance. And then the ones that have arches like rainbows, those are anticlines. When you see series of these rocks like you do here, anticlines and synclines, you're observing clues in geology that tell you the area had been deformed and compressed, likely in a plate event, meaning two plates smashing together. And it tells a story because these rocks can't do that at the Earth's surface or they would break. So the subsurface heating, not melting, allows that to happen. These rocks were flat layers of sediments, and then the law of original horizontality states that they got deformed later on. So the other side of the highway, you can see the matching canyon wall in the distance back there, and then some other layers uh, there too. But since the canyon walls on both sides match, that's the law of lateral continuity. Here's some exposed volcanic tuff, and that's uh, an indicator, another clue. So when you're looking at geology, you have to piece together all the different clues available to you to help decipher what made that a reality. Check out some of the rocks as we're lowering the drone here. You'll see the river in the background there. That also contributed to the erosion of the material between both canyon walls. This was a beautiful place. I highly recommend visiting. But this was one of the neatest things I saw besides the folds. And I just was like, can I do this in my yard? Cool way to use rocks. More to come. See you at the next site. Bye.